Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Cadbury. And I believe this is episode 20... Actually, 30. I think we're on 30 now. Um, of my Road to Plat series. Playing Ezreal this time. Looks like we're going against a Misfortune and Blitzcrank as Ezteric. Uh, this can kind of go either way. Um, Ez is a really good pick against Blitzcrank, just due to the fact that I can arc and shift his uh, pull. Um, and if, if uh, I get pulled, then Tarek should just stun Misfortune. And if Tarek gets pulled, we just get a free initiation onto Misfortune. So um, either way, it works out really well for us. But like I said, if I do get pulled, it's, it can go either way. We'll put it that way. But I think we have the advantage in terms of um, lane comp. And just being Ezreal, really safe pick. Um, if you watched the last episode, or maybe two episodes ago, I was talking about how how much I've been annoyed with him lately. He's literally picked in 100% of games. Um, Alright, looks like we're going to wait. I'll start. Oh, hello. Wait for him to come back. He'll come back. Go, go, go. Tarek gets it. Damn it. Alright, well, I'm going to go get another pot. That's really strange. You were there, were you? What? Uh, looks that way. So yeah. So grab that. He's starting red. What the hell? That's strange. Ugh. Sorry for the yawning, guys. I literally just woke up. Well, no, I didn't. That's a lie. I've been up for about like an hour and a half. <laughs> but it's still early for me. Coffee has not kicked in. Must get to the blue or red. What did he start with? Oh, okay. Pull it out a little bit. Okay, he's not gonna. I'm gonna kill that just so I can hit a Q on it. Run, Tarek. EXP. Oh, I gotta be really careful right here. This is a bad way to run, but... There's no way I'm gonna run all the way down and around. And... Okay. Get that picked up. And now the fun. So... Uh, one thing I've been trying to learn on Ezreal is, uh, oh, whoa, he, okay, avoid that. All right. I have three pots, so any, any trades we do. Uh, well, okay, back to what I was saying. It's just last hitting with auto attacks and using my Q to, uh, you know, pick up any harass I can. So we get her there. I'm going to get denied right now because Tarek's all the way back. This is fine, as long as I use the creep wave to my advantage. Get some more. Oh, I missed that. Wow. I think he just kept running. There he is. So I'll be able to see him now. I'll make it very easy to land cues on him. Mm, he's gone to ward. Another thing I've been trying to practice as well is if, if, if I'm going to initiate on them, is just using my skills to get... Uh, my passive up faster. Uh, for the fact that if I get that up, then I can have 50% attack speed buff when we do initiate on him. Wow, that was that was pretty close. I'll give him credit on that one. That was nice. So there's free harass. Saw her moving up for a CS and made a play on it. And the cast animation of uh, no time to waste. of the uh, double up. Sorry about that. Oh, he should have stunned that, I think. Alright. Don't, don't, don't. This is pushing in our favor, that's really good. Let's thin it out a little bit. Oh, missed that. Uh oh. Hmm. Alright. I'd actually prefer that Tarek don't initiate with stun. Just for the fact that if, you know, if I move up and Blitz gets a knock up on me into a pull, then. Uh. Then we're in trouble. I mean, big trouble. Sorry about that. I'm trying to focus on the last hitting aspect, and uh, she moves up. More harass. No, oh, I don't get either of those. That was bad. This AD carry. So noob. Tarek doing a good job of zone. I think he understands how the lane's supposed to be played, which is good. Because, I mean, if he didn't. And we could be in huge trouble. If he was just running up and stunning Misfortune over and over for no reason. 
I'm actually going to take W just for the attack speed bonus I can get from it. How's she looking? She still has a pot left. Oh, Hecarim's coming, okay. That's good. I'm gonna start thinning this wave out. She's pushing at the tower. Alright. Will we get anything out of this? Okay, she flashes it. That's, that's fine. Successful gank. Um, I know a lot of people are like, what? It's not successful, you don't get a kill. If you blow summoners, you, you've done your job. Now now when we jump onto her, like when she comes back, because she's, she's definitely based right now. Um, we can zone, what's his name? So right now I can push the tower and give Blitz all the CXP, or we can just sit back and zone. Um, so neither of them get it, and she'll miss last hits. Because our wave is stronger than, or their wave is stronger than ours. So as long as, okay. It's actually going to even out because of the way the minions are getting focused. Mmm. Back out. Noob. Oh, nice pink ward. I didn't see that. He's just going to recall there and grab EXP, I guess. That's fine. As I said, the wave is still stronger, especially with our cannon dying. That's really good. So this is going to push in our favor, and then we can definitely deny them. And I missed the, ca or the cannon. We gotta get that, but it's a really bad spot to do so. Okay. Let's crank putting in work. Alright. Oh, I gotta be careful moving up like that. Oh, there goes my pots. She just got wrecked on that trade. Oh, if I took Ignite this game, we probably could have gone in on that, but... I chose cleanse for safety purposes, where I really don't know if I needed it this game. Oh god. Still got it. Lucky me. Alright, I have enough for a BF sword. That's huge. Uh oh. Nah, I'm not gonna leave. If anything's gonna happen. Oh, they're coming back down this way. Misfortune gets it. That's not good for us. Alright, I'm almost six, so I would like to all in them. I'm six, go. Why is he having so much trouble doing that? She's moving up for it, too. Like, I don't know, he's so scared for some reason. Okay. Um, too late now. We had a really good positioning to do that. I don't think he's smart fighting us like that. That that bait, that was good. Like that was a good idea by him, because I like I obviously I committed really hard to it. I used my escape to get in there. So Malphite's gonna push top really hard. I want him to fight me in this. Then I forgot they had a Nocturne. Ugh. Huge, huge misplay by me. I just was not aware of that Nocturne in the game. That's okay. A little bit of a screw up. Very, very... I was just so obviously baited there. I didn't look at who their jungler was. And I paid for it. It's okay, though. Um, we got a good lead on Misfortune. We got a large amount of CS on her, over 20. And uh, I, I, we both got a kill, so that's okay. So, like I said, minor screw up, but it's not going to cost us anything. Um, anything major, at least. Misfortune and a kill, and like I said, we still have 20 CS on her. That'll do a good job. Uh, Malphite's farming really well. He just had a free top lane for the longest time. Because they just put everything bottom. And Shen gets back in time for the wave. Wow. Hmm. 
This is fine. We'll, like... I don't have flash up now, but... I'm not really worried about it. We'll win any trade. They're trying to bait me out. Okay, they get Tarek. Why is he not stunning her? He's just gotta stun her, like, uh... When that happens, you just stun Misfortune. Wow. Whatever, we'll get Blitz. Oh, and he got Misfortune. That's really good. Just trying to push the wave out before uh, I do anything. Um, it's actually I'm gonna make it to the tower. That's okay though. This cat would be. She shouldn't have stunned like that, I think. Oh, actually, Terra can follow it up. There we go. I gotta look at something before I. Okay, yeah, that, that, that does lower the cooldown. And that's enough for Bloodthirster. This game's looking really promising so far. 3 1 and 2. Uh, very large CS lead. Push this up to the tower and then go back. I knew that would happen too. <laughs> and I still did it. Uh oh. What the hell? Why did he. Um, I guess a valiant effort, but not worth it. Alright, whatever. Roll back right here. Let's actually ate that Q. Huh. That was strange. Alright. I know his hook's down, so I can just recall in peace. Um, let's go ahead and get... Um, we might as well get Zerkers. Why not? Agreed. Head back to lane. She's pushing it up the tower. That's okay. I can afford to miss the CS, whereas she just is, you know, in a really bad spot. I could use my ult to clear it, but... It's not worth it, because when I get back to lane, we can just, you know, 100%. We can all in them for a kill. Still have exactly 20 CS on her. Um, there's Misfortune. She's like, ah, oh, the dragon's gone. Shit. So I have a Bloodthirst where she has, you know, a Vamp Scepter and a Doran's Blade. So damage, well, but it is Misfortune. You always gotta remember that. You always gotta calculate into the, I guess, the equation that, uh, just who the champion is that you're... <laughs> That's what I mean by all in. Ew. Is he trying to. Oh. I'm coming. Is he trying to give it to me here? Oh, we gotta be careful, cat. Kill him! Mm. Can I do it? No, nope, misfortune's coming. I'll be okay. Actually. Oh, holy shit. Let me get this. Oh my god. <laughs> we all gotta get out of here. They're so low, though. It's so, alright. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy happens. I'm getting the hell out of here, though. Mm. Got a double kill out of that, so I can't complain. Actually, let's just... I'm not gonna rush. Usually I go Static Ship right after this, but I'm actually gonna go with the Iceborne Gauntlet. Purely for the kiting potential, it's just gonna be... It, it's obnoxious. It really... I think it's the most imbalanced thing in this game. Uh, the fact that Ezreal's Q is a 3 second cooldown, and you can AoE slow their team... Like, you don't even have to hit your target, you just have to hit something next to it. So if they're near a creep wave, oh, I hit a creep, it's okay, you're slowed as well. It just is really dumb. Um, I don't know how, it, like, I really think it should be like, no, melee only item would be really not, I don't know how it should work. It just, it, it doesn't make sense. It should not be an AoE slow. It's really stupid. Alright, once again, I'm leaning over the mic like a weirdo, so I gotta stop doing that.
All right, she's taking wolves. That's how far behind she is. Um, so obviously play to that. She'll be coming back to lane any second. There she is. All right, good chunk on her. I lose a cannon for it, but she might have to even go back to base off that. If she sticks around. Oh, I missed that? Holy shit. Oh, this is warded too. I gotta be very careful of it. At least I know the Nocturne alts down. That Q just went, like, complete opposite way of what I, you know, aimed it at. How's this looking? Got a lifesteal off this wave. What the hell is he doing? Um... No! No! What the hell? Oh, I screwed that up so much. I thought she'd like continue running towards me after she ignited, so I tried uh, eing like to make that, you know. But she actually ran away afterwards. Tarek almost just soloed Misfortune. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright. So, I tr like I said, I tried to E away because I figured she'd ignite and get an auto attack off, but she didn't. She just ignited and ran away, so when I E'd, I created more distance. Had I not created that much distance, I would have been in auto attack range, and I probably... Chances are I could have actually lived by auto attacking and getting, a, you know, lifesteal from Bloodthirster, but I ended up screwing it up for myself, so... Mm, shit happens. This ultimate is just stupid. This is the dumbest ultimate in the game. I always used to say, like, you know, basics and stuff used to be, like... As is overpower, man. I'm like, no, no, no. And I like the more you play against it, I guess not. It's hard to recognize it when you're playing it. It really is. I mean, I've I've done that with a lot of champions. It's really hard to recognize it when you're playing it, unless you're playing like Kazix and you're just like, oh, what the hell? I just I just 100% the nun to fucking, you know, 500 armor Malphite. That's weird. All right. You want to do that? I'll be right there. Um, so anyways, yeah, it's it's hard to recognize, but when you start playing against it, and you're like, why the hell does an AD carry have a magic damage ultimate that is, you know, enough damage for the whole team? Like, he does enough damage, like, if he just throws his ultimate out into a team fight, let's say he has Mummy on his team or something like that, and they just, oh, here's my ultimate, you know, Mummy ults and then Ez ults, that's like enough damage onto each player to, like, impact the fight, even if he dies immediately afterwards. It really is. I know that sounds crazy, but... How much is it right now? 500 plus 125. I mean, ignore resistances, but... It, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> I know it loses damage every enemy it passes through. But, oh, God, it drives me crazy. And then 50% attack speed passive. I mean, you have to hit a couple skills, but... If you hit your ultimate, you've automatically put your... If you just throw your ultimate across a team, or even some minions, you've automatically gotten that done. You've, you've got your 50% attack speed buff for free. Um, I should start heading mid, actually. This doesn't look like it's going to be good. Um, and or, uh, you know, you throw a couple Qs out there, W some teammates, we can fight. I'm very strong. Oh, she's going to strut that. Okay. So, and then, I don't know, just like 1100 Q range? That's crazy. And every time you hit a Q, you drop cooldown, and then your E. So if you hit a couple Qs while waiting on E cooldown, you you know, it's going to drop to like a, you know, a 7 or 8 second cooldown. You know, whatever it may be. Wow, dude. Serious? I just got E up to. Okay, there's like the whole team bottom. <laughs> Gotta be aware of that. That they are just gonna try to kill me over and over and over and over. Oh, I just got E up to. So they blew a lot of shit there. Teleport. I mean, it's worth it. Don't get me wrong. It's completely worth it, but... Bit obnoxious. Teleport, exhaust, uh, three ultimates. It, it's all gonna come off cooldown, so it's worth it. 
Just gotta play to that. I didn't know you had teleport, honestly. I just remember using his ultimate earlier. Just gonna tell him to group mid. I'm not gonna do the same thing I did last game where I just pushed bottom. That's what my plan was, but the amount of attention they're showing to bottom is just it's too risky. Um so we'll just force um force them out of there by going. I mean misfortune's gonna farm, there's nothing I can do about that. Nivia's got blue, I got Iceborne Gauntlets plus Bloodthirster, this should be really easy. Hmm. Oh yeah, you're dead. I'm not even gonna try using anything for that. So this is what I mean. There's like 20% attack speed. 30. 40, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. It really is. Uh oh. Gotta get out. Wait, why is it still hitting me? It just showed it on the minion. That's... And Tarek beats MF 1v1. <laughs> he does. <laughs> That's so funny. I'm just gonna back up. See, I mean, look at that. They're just constantly trying to uh, get onto me. Well, she, I mean, look at her items. Like, she's rushing a static, static shiv on Misfortune. It doesn't make sense. I don't know who you could pull that off on. Maybe Vayne? Vayne or Kogma? But I don't really don't see anybody else you could pull that off on. Uh-oh. Run, Tarek, I'm coming. The jukes. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Uh oh. I cleansed too early. Holy fuck. I'll still live. Oh, the blitz hook. Oh my god. It did. Wow, he maxed it. That's why. It did enough damage purely for the fact that he maxed it. Oh my god. I'm just playing poor right now. I'm making a lot of bad decisions. I thought I would have lived. Rarely do you see Blitz's max hook. You, generally, it's either E or W. Um, some do max it, but, it, like, I don't know. You pick up a lot more damage if you max uh, anything but that. Good play by him, using, uh, not using his ultimate right away. Alright. They get cleaned up really hard. That's good. That was frustrating. I, I saw it coming, I was like, I don't have to E this. It'll only do, like, I don't know, 20 damage or something. I guess it would have pulled me in. I should have eat it anyway. Ugh, so so rusty. Still eight and four, but I should be a lot. I should be doing a lot better. Let's go. Gotta have those reactions. What? Did I hit that? Okay. I'm not even gonna finish the zeal off. I'm just gonna go straight into uh. Straight into uh, Last Whisper. I just wanted the zeal for some uh, current attack speed. 58. Oh, okay. Any second now. 21 to 10, huh? Oh, man. I'm feeding. Okay. Well, what is this Tarek building? 101 AP. Holy shit. <laughs> and he's got Sark Boots. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, they just, res you know, they put all these resources top. We'll punish them by going mid. Why? Why, why, why? Fuck. <laughs> Dude, I'm making so many dumb decisions. I have to use fucking here. This is why you lose games at this elo. It's because you just sit on huge advantages and not do anything. 
Um, and it costs you. I mean, we should be taking towers or... I mean, we're taking dragons, that's good, but there's no reason in the world we shouldn't be pushing towers. And like I said, I should, may, I, pay, I should pay attention to the map more, but holy crap, dude. Trying so hard, heck, and I'm still higher level than you. I don't know if this guy realizes he's been in the lane. Alright, the reason he's higher level is because he gets lane experience, because, like, all of his, all of his lanes are pushed in, so he just goes to a lane and farms. It's not that hard. Group and push. Alright. I'm really just tired of sitting on a giant advantage. Look at he's soloing her. That's so funny. <laughs> it's cracking me up. The thing is, is he's getting soul stealer stacks for this. That's my weakness, man. Is not taking advantage of stuff, and then I start making dumb decisions. What? Okay, I gotta reset. Oh my god, I'm tanking it. Um, can I continue on this? Are we losing this fight? Yeah, we did. Why do we... I just don't understand. Malphite's pushing top, but he doesn't take the tower. He's like, you know what? I should run mid. Like I said, all they're, they're just considered... All they care about right now is kills, and it's costing us a shit ton. Trying to pay attention to the map. I think they're coming. We gotta get out. Yep, there it is. Misfortune from over the wall. That item's so dumb. Like I'm just slowing up any any aggressive play they put out. Ugh. I'll get this game. Hey guys, don't worry about towers or anything of that importance. Wow, he's got two warmogs on their team. It's so cheap right now. Thousand flat thousand HP for um, let's see here, thousand gold plus four seventy five plus one eighty plus nine seventy five, I believe. Oh god, coming. Go mid. Is he low? No. Just go mid. Somebody will run bottom, I can guarantee it. And that's what you shouldn't do. Like I said, when you have a team like this, like, Anivia just stops any, you know, aggressive play with her wall and her stun. Malphite can just initiate, Hecarim can push him away, but... For whatever reason in the world, we're afraid to just push on them. Tarek's got Abyssal Scepter. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. Alright. I thought Tarek was gonna go kill her. Alright, he can 1v1 her. She's gonna get a tower. He's not gonna get her because of Stra- She should've just kept running. Oh my god, I kinda want- <laughs> That damage. It's so funny. Okay. Alright, looks like we're backing out. Oh god, that's not good. I have no mana right now. Okay, I'm leaving. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. You're not that you're not that dumb. You're not that dumb. Ah, uh, Shen's here. Bummer. Tarek's gonna burst you, dog. You better back up. 
Terra kitten like a boss. <laughs> Alright. So I'm doing well. I got good items. I should have gotten Last Whisper earlier, I think. And let's go mid. I should have just taken solo top. Yeah, you should have a while ago. When they were sending four bottom or mid. Like, he kept pushing up to the tower. But not, like, you know, not doing anything to it. Quite obnoxious. She's just gonna push bottom all game. Whatever, we'll do something else. <clears throat> eight and five. Started this game so well, too. Tarek's eight and three. That's funny. I got Last Whisper. This thing will get crushed. Tarek should just come. There we go. Wow. Worst wall in A. Uh, I'm just back it off. He's caught out. Did I just miss their whole team? Where's he gonna go? I don't wanna chase. Wow, Miss Fortune's like pushing in. Holy shit, dude. What are we doing? We're gonna like. I can see us actually losing this game because we're just doing stupid shit. We gotta stop doing Barry and push. Alright. Like I said. No more Baron. Just push push lanes. Your team has destroyed a we we don't kill it fast enough. Like I'm our damage. Has go do non zero or what? I don't know what he's talking about. I think he's trying to tell me to be useful, but in a terrible way. Um, I don't know. I think we're just being stupid. We should be taking towers, not fucking doing Baron. Prevent MF from pushing. We're okay. I can honestly see her going to try and backdoor it, but... Do they have any healing? Like, they're all fucking... We push. Over here. Hmm. Recalling, recalling. Like, why? We have an inhibitor down. You better have some big items to purchase if you're gonna recall for no reason. Let's go. No. Push. Fuck. Like, this guy just has a hard on for Baron. Okay. You do Baron, I'm gonna push, because you're fucking. Wow, that still went on to me. Like, <laughs> just push, damn it! Okay, there's the caps lock. I'm getting angry now. We're being like 1200. I hate to use that like phrase, like we're being 1200, but this is the difference in ELOs, is knowing your your strengths and your weaknesses, and this our strength right now is the fact that we had, we had an inhibitor down, and we did absolutely nothing with it. We just we just literally did nothing with an inhibitor down. Um, so, yeah. Get a black cleaver off this, whatever. That's That's just like insanely frustrating. There's no reason in the world not to push... Like, they're, they're so weak, but... Not anymore. We have no advantage now. We literally have zero advantage. We're at the same spot they are. Uh, they have an inhibitor open, we have an inhibitor open. And, uh, I don't know. It's just not good. Let's get up with my team. I'm sure somebody will die. Okay, that's good. Huge ultimate. Huge stun. 
Okay, now let's just go. I'm gonna start heading mid. I don't even care about that. They'll probably ping Baron because they're not the brightest. Let's get Baron when we can just end the game. Sorry for being a dick for like the past five minutes. It's just so actually longer than that, but it's just so frustrating seeing game like this is why games are lost because people just turn it into team deathmatch because we have such an advantage. Oh, let's pick on him more. Let's just kill him. Let's keep killing him. All right, so they're pushing. That's good. All right, he does. This should be GG. No reason in the world. Yay, we ended it. Holy shit. I feel like crying right now. It's just beautiful. Team finally realized we we could win this. Oh no, I screwed up. Why didn't I auto attack? I bloodthirster. Hey, Nexus, right there, guys. See, that's what I mean. Objective kill. <laughs> Where was the priority there? It's all right. So we ended up winning. Thank God. I ended up just making so many mistakes in that game later on just for, like I said, I, we had the advantage and I was just playing like an idiot. I was not paying attention to my map and so on and so forth. So, But we managed to pull it out. It's 1795 and uh, that's it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.